Boo boo. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey Creighton. Hey. How's it going? Hey there. <laughs> when was the looks... last day we did this? Uh, I don't know. You didn't upload it like you said you would. I know. Hold on. Let me start uploading it. Damn it. Whoa, dude. Racist. <laughs> Let's see. So tonight you gotta upload two, I guess. Uh, like five done. days. Oh, that's about how long it was. It's usually to... about how long. Well, we we take. We've been or trying... four days. Four days. Four We've days, been four trying days. to get it to where it's closer than that, but like shit. Just... It's just tough. It's just tough. We had schedule. a good like last two days though. Like you know, yeah, the last two were really been, like extreme. pretty awesome. You know, <laughs> like we went out with friends, went to Huddle House, oh, yeah. stayed there for like we we four honestly, hours. if we wanted to, could have done the podcast last night and the night before. We could have, but we uh we hadn't seen a bunch of our friends in a while, and we decided to spend some yeah, valued time. time with them, bonding, bondage time. We, we were had bonded. Orgy, yeah. We were yeah sure. No, no, no. No, but like we had. He hates a, the viewers. I agree. We've I, had I a, that's what it we've is. We've had a good mix of um, new friends and old friends that we're hanging out with. Yeah, that's true. Which I <laughs> think a, is awesome. You know, our one of our new friends. Uh, his name is Matt. He yeah. texted me today. I'll, I'll read oh, verbatim. Nick, Nick texted me too about asking if we were hanging out tonight. <laughs> Hold on, I will read verbatim what was said to me. <laughs> Matt said, and I quote, and this is after a long conversation uh, the night before last. He messages me and says, Hold on. So I started listening to the Joe Rogan podcast, and it's so good. I said, bro, I'll get, I can get you a list. <laughs> he said, please, dude, I don't know. I've listened to the latest one, and it was so, like, so real and inspiring. Like, there's no bullshit. I love it. I said, hold up, I'm literally making one. <laughs> and then, like, 40 minutes later, I send him, like, 18, like, a list, like, a picture of 18 podcasts with the number and everything. And uh, and so I can't wait for our next conversation because I am uh, I'm always I'm always excited to talk to people about things I told them to watch. <laughs> Charlie's made a new boyfriend. <laughs> and, and, yep, you're you're getting replaced <laughs> apparently. So uh, I broke my toe on Thursday. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. And I would put. Can I do anything with this? The Joe Rogan cancel culture is why. I, don't mess with that. It'll fuck up my PC. <laughs> it's connected to the PC. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, Joe Rogan's not getting canceled. That was I was so excited when everyone was saying Joe Rogan canceled. Is he gonna get canceled? I no, hope, he can't like, get canceled. I, I know he can't, but like at the same time, I kind of <laughs> like I don't want anything bad to come of this, but I want something to come of this. Oh, I mean, like, the only thing that'll come of this is people realizing how dumb they are for thinking that he's a homophobic, transphobic, racist. That's all of anyone's saying. I went on Twitter. Oh, I went on Twitter, and the hashtag was like, or it wasn't even the hashtag. It was just Joe Rogan. And there was like a hundred and something thousand tweets within like 24 hours. And I was looking through them. There's a bunch of people. Do you know what happened? Like He's, you yeah. tell me he was interviewing somebody and the somebody, <laughs> you told me about it. I just so, so he was interviewing a woman named Barry Weiss. Yes. And <clears throat> during the podcast, she asked him who he was going to vote for. Oh, yeah. And he said Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders. So yeah. Bernie tweets out on his Twitter, on Bernie's Twitter, the clip of Joe saying that. And then everybody came out of... The, the woodwork, woodwork saying, Bernie, I can't believe that you would uh, endorse this racist, homophobic, transphobic asshole. Like, just all this shit. And I was just, the whole time I was like, no, 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 yes. <laughs> like, I was like, I can't wait for this. I, I'm so happy that, like, I can't wait for all these people to realize how dumb they are for yeah. saying this. You know what I mean? Which I don't know much about <laughs> Joe Rogan at all, except from what you told me. So I don't even get, like, why people are like... Oh, he's a racist, homophobic, transphobic, <laughs> yeah. like, you know, Nazi. They take a bunch of these little audio clips out of context and make him look bad. But what they don't do is they don't watch the whole episode in which he says any of that stuff. I wish we were famous enough for people to do that to us. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, bro. I don't feel like getting attacked on the internet. <laughs> oh, I get attacked we're on, on Twitch. If we were just on YouTube, I wouldn't care. I get attacked but we're on, on Twitch. Dishes. And Twitch, they would just... They would just canceled we they would canceled? actually cut us oh. off of twitch but then we could just go but to then we could come back and people would watch us for nostalgia and because we're edgy not on twitch we couldn't on come twitter back. on youtube i mean on youtube it wouldn't be like a yeah, break yeah. we would take though we could just start the next stream on youtube instead of yeah twitch. <laughs> wait can you stream from youtube yeah oh sweet we could do facebook live no i don't, <laughs> don't want to do facebook imagine Facebook. Like you can only watch us on Facebook Live. Oh my God, we have no viewers. 
Or, or even we would better. max out at like a hundred viewers and never have more viewers ever again. <laughs> like a hundred viewers would be the most we ever had because there's only a hundred people left on Facebook. Copenhagen, what up? Or we could do um, whatever Google <laughs> Plus is equivalent of Facebook Live. There is. isn't one. <laughs> <laughs> Google Plus doesn't have a streaming service. Are you sure? I hope. I hope they don't. Or we could come to you on Disney Plus. You can't stream on Disney Plus either. A bunch of stuff is streaming on Disney Plus. You can't stream live, you <laughs> head-ass people. People can't just go on there. Disney Plus puts its own stuff up there. TikTok streaming? Low-key, we could do good on TikTok uh, if they could stream I don't want to hop on the TikTok bandwagon right now. Why not? It's the biggest thing. Uh, <laughs> so, like... Uh, you don't watch them. You just, you just no, want to I not do. like them because really, you're like a I have, I've tried. I tried. I really mm-hmm. did. And I just didn't enjoy You haven't watched the good ones. There are good ones. If, but if you have I'm not look, a big TikTok. Like, I don't have TikTok, look, but I watch the good online. ones. Does that really make it a good thing? I mean, you can say that about anything. That's fair. You, but like, like why do you watch YouTube? There's so many bad videos. Like, <laughs> that's true. But there's, I feel like there's more videos than there are bad More good ones than there are bad ones. Are you sure? Yeah. There's way more bad videos than YouTube. There's so many videos of nothing. Just like a street. Like, there are videos yeah, people will take. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, I don't, I, I don't think you understand. I'll watch anything <laughs> as long as I find it entertaining. I sat there and watched. Also, like, Bite, which is Vine 2.0, came out. So. What? Apparently. Huh. Well, they were going to do Vine 2, and I think that people were like, no. So, something, they just named it the Bite. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't even seen it yet, so I don't know. Give me a water. Huh? A water. Can I hand you one? Yeah. And I could, but they're all the way behind me, and I have a broken toe, I think, probably. I would show you guys, but I, I will definitely get kicked off of Twitch if oh, I show you my toe. you just post a picture on Twitter. No, I'm not doing that to all my friends. You know how many people don't want to see my toe? <laughs> a lot. But what if you start giving, like, cash from it? Like, people start paying to see your broken toe. Right. You know what? Okay, yeah, you know what? Fine. Hundred dollar donation. Somebody donates $100 in bits, I'll put my toe in my Discord, my, my stream Discord. Yeah, head ass. Put it on Twitter, not your stream Discord. Copenhagen, it is cold in here. This is not room temp. Like, it's room temperature in the sense that it's the temperature of this room. Yeah. But this room is in a basement that is open. Like, there's one door and all, like, the windows aren't insulated. Like, I've got a heater there and, like, I have two weighted blankets in this room. I just live in the cold. Like, this water is cold enough to not feel like room temperature That's water. Imagine, this, for the first time viewers that don't know where to say Yeah, <laughs> people, bro, people freak out all the time. Fancy Creighton. Yes, that is Fancy Creighton. Bumper says hello, by the way. Hello, one of my co- One of the co-creators of Vine made it. Yeah. I fancy you too, Bumper. <laughs> Something a psychopath would say. Yeah, sorry, it's just room temperature water. <laughs> it is uh, room temperature water. Oh my god. <laughs> but it doesn't really like cold. It, it oh, does kind of feel warm now that he mentions it. Well, that's because it's cold in here. Wait, what? Wait, wait, so you're saying the water is warmer than the air temperature? Because I threw it, yes. What? Kinetic, That's kinetic not... Energy. No, shut up. That's not how that works. <laughs> to be fair, the water is in front of the heater. <laughs> that Why might would you do mistake. that? I didn't mean to. I just realized you it when I thought about it. <laughs> you, asked, you started asking if you could and not if you should. So, Creighton, I hear you want to get in the gym, finally. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh... Yeah. What perhaps made you think this or want to do this? I just wanted to be healthy. Uh huh. Myself. That's the that's the reason. <laughs> yeah. Do you not want to talk about the reason? <laughs> I mean, we'll talk about it if you want to talk about it. I, I mean, I only want to talk about it. If you, want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you seem really excited. Like you. I'm want to a little talk excited. About <laughs> Even if we don't mention the thing, I still want to talk about just the gym in general and what oh, what God. you could you do. You mean like you do every podcast? <laughs> uh, I don't every podcast. Yes, I always do. want to, and you don't let me continue, and you bring up something else, and then I get sad. <laughs> it's because you say the same shit every time you're like... What do I say? What, what's the same like, shit? Okay, so the synopsis is, the gym's great. I go to the gym at least three or four times a week. I live at the gym. I go, I'm a monster at the gym. There's that lady at the gym who's always running. And then there's the hot lady that comes in and you're like, oh my god, I want to talk to her, but we're at a gym. These are That's all separate s- stories. No, These but are it's different all, stories. All, you bring up all the stories sometimes in one sitting and I'll be like, yeah, it's not like we've heard that in a Well, first time. of all, all those are I'm just asking for new content from you. <laughs> okay, you want new gym content? <laughs> no, just new content in general. Yeah, new gym content. But, like, we're talking about my gym experience, and you're like, yeah, let me tell you about mine. I wasn't going to tell you about mine. I was going to talk about us going. Oh, like how awesome it would be if you did actually go through with this. Yeah, I am going through with it, I think. Um, I thought you wanted to talk about my reasoning for going to the gym. I mean, only if you want to, and I feel like you might not want to. I don't not not want to. What's the know. reason? 
fucking hat. Okay, well, it's gonna sound bad. Like, if it... It's not gonna sound bad. I think, I it think it's a valid bad. reason. No. Like, if there's ever reasons, it's like, people have usually two reasons. That reason or the other reason. <laughs> so... You don't have um, to if you don't want to. No, 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 no. Oh, Are you, you thinking you, logistically, you know what? You like, actually, what might happen? Actually, you... Um, <laughs> if you say it... I, I am kind of worried about it, but, like, that's not the main thing. I want to hear it from your perspective. You tell me what you think. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> now, Creighton, Creighton drinks bottled water. Fitness is my passion. <laughs> <laughs> that is how my mind works. I love you, Copenhagen. I can't... Copenhagen, we have to meet you one day. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so... <laughs> I want to hear it from Charlie's perspective, because he's got, like... Like, he's told me his perspective on this, but I want you guys to hear it. Okay, so, Creighton has been speaking to a person uh, that he fancies, almost like Bumper fancies him, and, uh... <laughs> I didn't know Bumper fancied him. Long story short, this person took Creighton to the gym the other day, for three hours, by the way, <laughs> which I told Creighton right away, like, he was like, I hurt really bad, I don't know if I like this. I was like, yeah, you went for three hours and you haven't been to the gym in years, <laughs> you head ass. <laughs> So, my, uh, my consensus <laughs> is that Creighton wants to go to the gym because this person wants him to go to the gym, and so that he can look good for this person. <laughs> is that a pretty solid... I mean, it's not just, like... I any... know it's not just that. Shut the fuck up. But, <laughs> that's a pretty solid understanding. I guess, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's all I wanted to... But... We can skip that, because I know you don't well, want to get I, too into well, that. Well, I was going to add into that, like, it's not just, like, looking good for the person, but I also feel better about myself. Yeah, no, you will. I it'll have, it'll no, suck I mean, for like, a while. I have felt better about myself Because of your... Being around this This is going to sound shitty, and I don't... Don't take it shitty, okay? Okay. Okay. The way your body is currently, especially your stomach, the gym's going to suck for a while. Not, like, a crazy amount of time, but until you get to where... <coughs> Until you get to where that shit's gone, <coughs> and you don't have to worry about it. You okay? <coughs> my water the wrong way. <laughs> Until you get to a point where uh, you're honing instead of trying to get rid of like excess. I'm trying to hone this water. <coughs> uh, you're you're gonna. It's gonna suck, because you're gonna want to do a lot of the right kind of. You're gonna want to burn things up. You have to do a lot of shit in the beginning. A lot of uh, not a lot of muscle stuff. More burning fat off of you, which won't be a problem. The real problem is the gym you're thinking about getting a membership to. I like the one that we I went know, to. I know that you one's do. got a pool. I uh -huh. like pools. I like swimming. I'm a beast at swimming. <laughs> I wish that... I think that if you take a guest, it's not... So if I wanted to go for like and get a day pass, it's like $20. Where? At the one I went to? Uh, yeah. No. Yes. I went with... Uh... How much? Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're a guest. If I went by myself, if you get like a solo day pass, it's like 20 But I think if you go with a person... And they, like, sign you in. How much was it for you? It didn't cost anything. Nothing at all? No, Literally? Yeah. You just walked in? Yeah. I, just, I filled out some papers and I went in. That's it. She might have had... They might have charged her. They didn't sure. charge her. Are you sure? All. Yeah, I'm, like, 100% certain. Bitch, I want to go. Um, I want to go use the sauna. <laughs> so the sauna, you need to do the sauna. Look, I, listen, real fast. I'm sorry. Get to that. But every day, it's so good for you. Even if you just go to the gym for this, if you go to the gym and just you don't want to... sauna? I'm set. Yes. Go in the sauna for 20 minutes a day at 180 degrees. Okay. It's very good for every... It's good for your skin. It's good for your bones. It's good for your muscles. It's good for your whole body. Right. That shit. Every day, just drink water. Make sure you drink water before. <laughs> Don't go in there and just fucking die. <laughs> like, make sure you're hydrated. You know, like what happened to Creighton. <laughs> he, he, he died. He sat in the, in the sauna. I'm a beast at swimming. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... So... We went and, um... I had just had to fill out, like, the paperwork thing or whatever... And actually, I have horrible handwriting, so they had to come and find me so I could re-sign some stuff. <laughs> Creighton was supposed to be left-handed, but in school he thought it looked weird, so he used no, his right hand. No, I didn't hand. think it looked weird. That's just how they taught this. Yeah, so they school. taught Creighton how to write right-handed when he was a kid, and he's pretty sure he was supposed to be left-handed, so now he just writes right-handed really bad, <laughs> like, as an adult. Like, his handwriting... Look at this shit. Okay, I don't know how well you guys can see that. Look at this. That's Creighton's handwriting. What the fuck? <laughs> Pretty solid. But, oh, I Pretty remember solid, what I was going to say. Right. Um, so, like, it's not necessarily, like, feeling good. 
or not like looking good. <laughs> it's feeling good. like it's feeling good. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I don't know, care how lately, I look. Lately, lately, this like person has just made me feel good about myself. So yes, it's pretty awesome. I am happy for you. Yeah. The scribblings of a madman. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> He said, before that, he said, Creighton looks like a young Sam Kinison who became a youth pat- a counselor instead of a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> and you do. It's, it's, it's true. Uh, oh, Sam Kinison was like a coked up crazy man comedian that died. Oh. He killed himself. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, he was, he was troubled. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> uh, Cocaine's yeah, a hell of a drug. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Uh, <laughs> I love that clip. I do, too. It's the best. <laughs> Can um, we play that real quick? Uh... I mean, just that, yeah. maybe. Yeah, just that far. <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't, bro, like, I'm just pissed because you're finally going to get in the gym and it's not going to be with me. <laughs> yeah, we can go, so. I know, but like... It's not Are same. you really mad it's not the bros? No, I'm not mad. I'm just annoyed yeah. that it's not going to be as easily... Because it does cost money if you want to go to my gym ever. Oh. It's like five bucks. It would be five bucks a trip for you. As a guest. Yeah, see, well, then you should join my gym, because it's oh better. Oh, my God. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's probably not better. unlimited. You probably can't just go there every time with somebody and it not cost money. Like, maybe that, they probably let people do that one or two times to see if they like it, so that there's a better chance they'll come oh, in and get yeah, a membership. Well, like, uh, I'm sure I was going to tell you, she told me that there's only, um, like, you can go, like, only twice a year as a guest. Yeah, see, that's or what I'm saying. Or something like that. But I, I don't know, I'll have to find out for sure. When I become, like, a member and stuff? And I mean, if I even know. if I have to pay money as a guest, I would pay just to use the sauna as long as it's only 5 or 6 like, 5 or $10. Yeah. Like, I'd spend f- 10 bucks to use the sauna once a week. Just once because... Week? Huh? Once a week, you said? Like, yeah, if I just wanted to go and sit in the sauna. Because the sauna's good for you, and I don't get one at my gym. Um, it makes me sad. I yeah, wish that there was a... doesn't have a lot, so. I mean, well, it really just the doesn't have sauna hours. and pool and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it has I mean, all, all the, the stuff that I would lose. All, all the stuff I would use. Like what? I don't know, like, uh, there's this racquetball, there's a basketball gym, there's a bunch of stuff. You just want to go and play. I do, I, I look, I, I get, I can, I can get exercise from that and enjoy it, why not do yeah, it? Well, I mean, I get exercise from the shit I do and enjoy it, there's a difference. Yeah, but still, I feel like you're working a lot more than, like, you know. Like, well, you're I doing, enjoy... playing basketball and playing racquetball, it's good and all, it's better than sitting around doing nothing, but you're not, it's not like going to the gym and using machines Look, and tackling that. the right things. But I was doing the, um... And, the, you're, and that gym does have that stuff, so we could do that anyway. Yeah, I know. But what I'm saying Wait, is... racquetball? No, I'm saying oh. your gym has all that, oh, those yeah, machines, yeah. so at the very least, you could still do all that stuff. Oh, there. no, I, yeah. Probably. I, did, I don't know what all they have, I think but I, I, I was, like, shit. doing, like, that stuff in the beginning, and then kind of, like, slowing myself <laughs> they got down. They a trampoline, a ball fit, a jungle gym. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that's, the, that's the kind of gym I want to go. Uh-huh. You guys know of any? That's, that's a Chuck E. Cheese. So, so let's go to Chuck E. Cheese. Let's we'll oh start working God. out at the Chuck E. Cheese. That's not the way that. You know that bicycle thing that they used to show in their promos that would go like all the way up to the ceiling and come back down, like you put a quarter in. You see, I remember that. That's old, right there. Let's get one of those. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> that was worth it. <laughs> Thank you, Marina. Oh, Great, thought, and just go to McDonald's Play Place. Boom. They removed our Play Place. It's sad. They're doing this mission across the country where they're slowly removing all the Play Places from McDonald's. Hashtag brings the Play Place back. But, no, it's a good thing they're not there. No, fuck you. Those things are disgusting. They don't yeah. clean them. They never clean them. They should have cleaned them. That's yeah. the only thing, though. If they well, the thing them, is, adults clean. would have to clean them. Adults can't get in those Play Places. Small adults. You know how yeah, many small, small adults. adults we know. You know how many small adults are going to say, no, fuck you, I'll get a different job. I'll go work at Wendy's where there's not a play place I have to clean <laughs> for $7 an hour. Wendy, not all I'm that. saying is Wendy's would make more money if they had a play place. No, they wouldn't. Yes, they would. No, they wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Wendy's has a giant ad campaign. They're probably the most, one of the more successful of the fast foods. I guess. Oh, hey, I'm getting a call from Quentin. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Don't, don't, don't speak your phone. Oh, don't speak your phone? Don't speak your phone. You don't know what Hello? he's saying. Hello? It's not like he's going to drop the N-word. Hello? Crane walking into that bitch looking like uh, Um, I'm talking to Charlie. We're live right now on stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't mean, like, have your whole conversation. I meant, like, answer it and tell him what's happening. Uh-huh. This is the person that wait, I... Wait, shut up, Charlie. I'm my... trying to talk. Bitch, <laughs> <with my guest. laughs> This is the person I've chosen for my life no, podcast he's, podcast. He's talking uh, and stuff partner. to the people, and I'm trying to have a conversation with you and the people. But what were you saying now? <laughs> I'm so mad. 
Stop being rude, Charlie. Oh, you know what? Fuck. My bad, guys. Go ahead. Have your phone call. So you're on the way back to Lancaster, or you're going to meet up with Sterling? Yeah, just put his business out there. Why don't you? Oh, yeah, I'll send you Sterling's number. That's a good idea. Okay. Do you want to be on the podcast? No. No. Oh, Quentin says hello. Hello, Quentin. <laughs> I didn't mean like that. Charlie just automatically said no. You know, I was just going to put you on speaker to be like, hey. I thought you were just inviting him and whoever's with him or coming with him over here. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, you know, that's just reality Charlie's not ready to face yet. What? <laughs> what? What's the reality? Explain to me the reality. I'm not All right, ready to I face. love you. Goodbye. Jesus, we're streaming uh, to tens of people here. <laughs> 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 Who said that? COVID-19. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, that's, that's good fun. Good humor. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> what, what does Pop say on regular show? Pop? Jolly good show. <laughs> Jolly good show. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot about Pops. Pops is the best. He's funny. I like, I like Skips. Skips was my favorite character. When I was younger, I thought Pops was somehow Benson's, like, dad or, or something because yeah. they both had a similar shape and i was like well if anybody fucked a gumball machine oh my god <laughs> bro pops. <laughs> out of everybody in that show look into your soul charlie you know it to be true why why do you say why do you quote star wars all the time <laughs> why don't you <laughs> this is not a surprise to be sure but a welcome one i hate <laughs> i just hate <laughs> So, so what are we talking about today? <laughs> Twenty minutes in, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? This we passed the intro point. This is where we're getting to the meat of it. The meat, the the the, 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 the ham of the sandwich. We're past the cheese and okay, the bread. Okay, let's, let's and all catch that. everyone up. I broke my toe. I wasn't we're, joking. Yeah, I like legit. I broke the fuck out of my toe. And my big toe is purple. I'm looking at it. It's got. I've got paper towel in between it and the toe next to it, like, to stop any blood from seeping out of my toe, which has been happening for two days. Uh, right before the podcast, I was soaking my foot in Epsom salt water, mm -hmm. uh, or my feet, rather, mm -hmm. figured I'm not sa saving it. Yummy, yeah, that's what I'm saying, it's nice. Uh, He's making toe soup. Making toe soup. And I'm pouring it down the bathtub drain. Ooh, yeah, uh, what? <laughs> that's what I do with the water. Oh. Um, Why don't you drink it? If you drink it, you'll become stronger. <laughs> it's like the it's like the equivalent of the gamer girl bathwater. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Instead of gamer Charlie boy water. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, um, it's like drinking your pee. So it hurt constantly. very bad. <laughs> So you're constantly repeating out your pee and drinking it again. Why are you talking? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> it's a cycle, Charlie. A water cycle. <laughs> I hate you. You know what's awesome, though? Like, we could have been, like, teed up to do a podcast, like, yesterday, and it would have been the same shit. It really would have. I mean, oh, man. <laughs> if Charlie was a native... His name would be Warm Water Broken Toe. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one. You know what my problem has been lately? What? I keep having good ideas for the podcast. Yeah. And I forget to write them in the thing. Yeah. And you haven't at all either in a long time. Well, like... And we, like... Because for the longest time, we had great podcasts. <laughs> Just because we were writing in there? Because we were writing our stuff. Uh, and we had, like, we had like five or six... We well, it's not only that. But those things definitely were good talking points, usually. And we would, like, have stories to tell and things to say. And, like, lately we haven't, so we've been starting them blind. And I don't know. I, feel, I think it's all in my head. I think that in my yeah. head I'm not, let, like, it's harder for me to find things, like, to talk about. But not find them, but, like, get to them from well, one to the other. I think part of it is because, like, we don't have an intro anymore. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we need an intro, <laughs> and you're going to work on one. Yeah. And, I got to remember. So our, our old intro for the people that were ever here. I'm doing good. Gen Genesis Requiem is here. Who's that? Uh, I used to know Genesis Requiem's real name until I got this PC. 
because uh, I had changed his name because he was one of my very first like like viewers of the stream when I started. Wow. You didn't even Luke, his name. thank you. Well, I had it. I, so what you can do is here. I'll show you. So what I can do is this right here. I can edit his name. So where instead of Genesis Requiem, it says Luke Genesis Requiem. Yeah. And I haven't seen him in a while, so I wasn't able to do that. So now that'll be his name, but. Whenever I switch PCs, I have to redo that for everyone, and I haven't seen him in a while. Mm. And I felt bad. But now his name is mm. Luke Jensen Trevor. Anyway, with that said, I'm doing good. My toe is broken. It well, hurts. What were we talking about now with the whole um, podcast thing? Like, you were feeling like we were out of focus. Yeah, I feel like it's easy to get out of focus when we don't... Because what I, what I would do is, I expect you to be out of focus. Yeah. Because that's... That's, part, it's, that's my stick. It's like your stick is being like, what's happening? Mm -hmm. But, like... When I had it laid out in front of us, like yeah. the order of operations, I was like, I could at least maintain an idea of how I could be like, we can spend 20 minutes on this, we can spend 30 on that, and I could like, I could slowly but surely like squeeze all the information out of any of those topics by having the topic in front of me. So really, what it is is you got to get your shit together. We have to get our oh, shit together. Oh, we have to get our shit together. Because well, you, you, you would do good putting them on here as well, but yeah. again, you haven't had a lot. Well, I mean, you've had other priorities lately, and I'm not upset about that. Yeah, I mean, not that. I'm, <laughs> See, that's why I don't want to happen, though. You know what I I'll mean? I'll tell you in a second, Luke. Good. I don't want that to happen, though. Like, you know what I mean? I don't want, like, that well, look, to bro, take look, up, look, like, look, a good... I, when, if, it, if it goes down to the brass tacks, I can do this podcast myself. No, but... I can do... No, I'm, no, I'm saying... Let me say this part. Okay. I can do a version of this podcast where it's just me talking to the chat or just me talking to the camera for an hour and having solo podcasts. That's the thing. Chris Lee is a comedian. He does it. He'll just talk about joke ideas or topics of the day that he wants to get off his chest or opinions on things he wants to get off his chest and he'll uh he'll say all that and they're amazing they're hilarious but with that said i like doing this podcast with you mm -hmm. but again another but is a big but is that uh i would much rather you pursue the thing in your life that you're pursuing right now because i want you to be the best version of yourself you can. Not the gym, talking about the other thing you know what I'm talking about. And that could be great for you. It could be. Mm -hmm. But I'm much more focused on doing other things that make me happy too, so that's I not understand. Like the sole thing that makes me happy. I understand. So and what you're saying important. is you need to get two gym memberships. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. So I can fulfill my homosexual boyfriend and like fulfill my other pursuits. Yes. Yeah. I think that's the way to do it. Okay, we could get a we could get a joint membership in May whenever mine runs out. <laughs> but I have to go. I have to renew my membership soon anyway. <laughs> oh, there's something else I was gonna tell you what what about the me? note thing. Nothing eventful has like really happened. Yeah, you know that's I mean? that's a big part of it. We haven't had a lot happen. I mean, we've gone and hung out at Huddle House and everything, but which has been amazing. Like, yeah, but wrong. that's not you know. There's nothing do. like that we can talk about that's gonna be like. We need to start thing. looking up cheap things to go do the two of us. That we can talk about and just start talking about shit that happens to us. I still think we should go and do um, the burger challenge at Highway 55. What? The burger challenge? At yeah, but that's like, you don't get anything for that. No, but. Other than the experience. But I get like, the experience that's what I'm of saying. Cool. Like, but like, I don't know. do it for the show, Charlie. I get paid Wednesday. How does it work? Go. So, what do, hold on, what do we have to do again? Okay, so, 25 patties. Oh my god. Is it 25 patties? And is it, it one might be person? 10 patties. Is it one person it's gets 10 this? patties per person or something yeah. like that. Or five patties per how, I, it's, a lot of, it's a stack. It's, it's a like big ass burger. Sandwich. And you have how long? Uh, 30 minutes. You have 30 minutes to eat it. Yeah. And what happens if you eat it? If you eat it, it's free. If, it, you if, it, if you eat it, it's free. Yeah. And if you finish shit. it, if you don't finish it, it's uh, $25. Which isn't like bad. It's I mean, not the worst, yeah. I mean, for as much burger as you're getting. Right? <laughs> Buy a kayak. Great idea. <laughs> uh, we could go kayak. Bro, we could we could do that. Go kayak? No, we could eat that burger. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But we'll, I could eat, eat that we'll get our own one. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, we can't team up with them. I, wanna know, I need to know the specifics. I need to know how big. Like, if it's 10 patties, I'm fucking that you thing. You know what? We that thing's Google, losing. Let's Google I'm eating it and it. see. Yeah, let's see if it's a thing. Yeah. It might, it's been like years since I've been in promotion for it. 55 Burger, burger Challenge. challenge. Yeah. This isn't shirts off. I've been fooled. Eh, well, you know. We, the said, tweet said today that there's going to be shirts be on. on. Yeah. Uh, 55 challenge. I'm going to the gym now. Creighton five minutes later. Claps hands. It's 25 patties. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How many patties you got there? Let's see. 
Is it just five, Patty? Wait, do we have to drink the drink? What's the drink? It just says a 24-ounce drink. It's a big drink. I could drink a 24 ounce. I mean, yeah, no but problem. like... So this is 17 ounces. I can do 24 ounces. So you're talking like... I've drank, le- I've drank more in a shorter amount of time. Well, I know, but it's not about drinking just that drink. It's about drinking that drink along with all that food in that amount of time. I can do that. I think we could do that. I can do that. Get water. I hope they let us get water. You have to record it, though, to show on stream. Of course. Yeah. Charlie himself is a broken toe. Just kidding. Okay, bro. Um, real quick, let me catch them up on that. Before we talk about food. <laughs> what, the broken toe thing? Again? Yes. Well, oh, I didn't explain God. what happened. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's yeah, a pretty yeah. quick story. It's I'm not sorry. That crazy. I'm sorry. I've just it's heard okay. this story like five times. I know. Times I told, uh, I've told a lot of people around Creighton. So. Can I tell it? How'd you know? Never mind. Can I tell it? No. Please? Come on. Go ahead. Tell, tell, it. tell it. Tell it. Okay. I'm going to look so up So there Charlie thing. was, moving shit in his house for Mike. No, I wasn't. Oh, you weren't? <laughs> no. You he was upstairs the story. for some reason, doing shit upstairs. <laughs> And he had to move, a, like, a gate to let a dog out or no, something. No, I did You don't even know the story. <laughs> when he was moving I've the told gate. the story so many times. <laughs> when he was moving the gate, his toe got caught in the gate. He tripped over the gate and fell and broke his toe. And now he's here, whimpering about it. I was on the phone. Oh, yeah. He was also I was on the phone. <laughs> I needed to go outside. He wasn't on the phone with me. Who are you on the phone with, Charlie? I was on the phone <laughs> with my father. Oh. And I couldn't hear him very well, so does I was going to go father, outside to get a better reception. I'm going to mute you somehow. I'll father, shoot you in the head. Does your father love me as much, love you as much as he as I love so, you? So, I go outside to get a better reception. There's a doggy gate. This doggy gate, let's say that this part, this little remote, is the part of the gate that's connected to the wall. This remote is the gate that... I'm not sponsoring Drift Cell. <laughs> this, part, this remote is the part of the gate that opens. Like, ching! Like, you push open. So... There's a little tab on the top of the gate that you pull to push the gate open. I did that, and when I went to push open with my legs, this part of the gate was loose and not connected to the wall properly, and my toe got caught in the gate, and the whole gate pushed forward. And my body fell on top of the gate, which was on top of my toe, and now my toe is black and bleeding. And uh, it's been like that for a couple days since Thursday, and uh, that's fun. Can I take a picture of it on my Twitter? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <Wait. It. laughs> oh, wow. You weren't kidding about the blood. Yeah, why would I fucking kid about that? No, no, I just mean like... I like, hate when people tell jokes, then say, See, it's funny because I... And I say, no, I get... <laughs> and you're just a fucking idiot. Yeah, sure. That's how I feel about Creighton literally all the time. There you go. So, if you really want to go see it, look at Creighton's Twitter, not mine. Yeah. I will not post I'm, it because I care about you guys. You want me to tag you? Ow. No, I don't want you to tag, tag me. <laughs> uh, so, we stack 55 ounces of meat on a burger bun with at least four toppings and give you a side of fries, a 24-ounce soft drink, and 30 minutes. If you can eat it all in the allotted time period, then the meal is on the house. If you can't, or if you cheat, we'll happily charge you for it. <laughs> how, you, how can you <laughs> I don't know. Were you just hiding patties, like, under your tongue like, or something? Oh, bro, look at that. Hold on. Nah, look at this. That looks so do- When you look at it like that, bro, that looks we so can eat that. Yeah. That's nothing. That's the size of my head. I can eat my head. <laughs> I can eat- Bro, so that's we'll nothing. Quit in the film it? Look at that little amount. Sure. Bro, and that drink? Yeah, I'm e- I'm fucking this challenge. This is easy. So, Saturday? Sat- today's Saturday. No, next Saturday. Like, a week from now. Perhaps. Because I'm off that Saturday. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We'll do it. Money. We will do that. I just don't know when we're going to do it. Come on, let's do it next Saturday, because I'm off. I have money. How many ounces? 24-ounce drink. 24 ounces. Why does everybody keep asking mm-hmm. about the drink? I feel like the drink's, like, the, not the strongest part of that. The fries are what I would be worried about, because you have to eat Nah, the way. fries is easy for me. It's, 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 it's going to be the bread, the bread on the sandwiches that's going to well, fuck me up. We can take it apart and do it. Like, oh, yeah, for piece. sure, but still, it's going to be, like, it's a lot when you see it all. But to me, I can eat it. So we just got to eat a lot like the day before. Shoot, that's a regular Wednesday for your boy. Bro, facts. That's a regular Wednesday for me. The toe story. Wait, what? Is this... Did you just click what I did? No. No, I'm not watching some shit. I'm not watching some shit right now. I'm scared. (laughs) Uh, No, I mean, honestly, bro, I've eaten more than that much food in one sitting. Yeah, for real. I've like, eaten, what, like, what were you saying our strategy should be when we originally talked about this? Eat a lot the day before? So we need to eat a lot leading up, day, like every day. 
like we need to just eat some dumb food <laughs> like like eat a bunch of calories every day leading up like and don't eat like unhealthy shit like like I'm talking like go eat rice rice and a steak every day leading up and like just like make sure you're doing it around the same time every day and then plan on that time being the time you go and eat the burger because you you want your body to be ready to like want to eat it cuz that's that's how like right now like right, right about now for me every day I'm making a big pastrami and roast beef sandwich with pepper jack cheese on rye bread and I'm taking two of these alpha brain pills Two of these alpha brain pills. Sorry, I'm writing a new thing about the tough. Uh huh. But I take two of these with a meal. Every... Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, is that the alpha brain? Is that yeah. Alpha brain? Yeah. Okay. So I eat two of these with a big meal, which to me the big meal is uh that sandwich. I'm eating a, like a lot of food on it. I've got enough for a few more days, but I need to go get more food soon. Uh, and I eat that every day, and every day at like. Three or four in the morning, I have to take a gnarly big shit. Like, I mean... Three or four in the morning? Yeah, that's, like, how long, roughly, my body... You know, it takes your body, like, eight or nine hours usually to digest, but I eat a lot. So, it, you know, it takes ten or eleven. <laughs> and, I mean, it's like a shit the size of my fucking, like, from my elbow to, like, my wrist. Like, so a what you're big saying, shit. What you're saying is your anus can stretch that far, huh? Yeah. You got a big butt. <laughs> I've been working my ass out in the gym a lot. Stretching. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do squats forever. <laughs> my foot, bro. I'm so sad about the gym. I haven't been to the gym since thir- since Wednesday. I know your muscles are shrinking. <laughs> or no, it was Thursday. I went Thursday for like, but it was that day that I hurt my toe. Who the fuck eats fuck, rice I and steak to together? Quentin, bro, what? Uh, Sterling's number. It's not bad. It's just, it just says disgusting. I don't know if guys who... If, guy, if you guys know who Jericho is, but he posted his ass on Twitter, and that's, I saw that. I saw that today. Could mm-hmm. probably get it banned off of Instagram, because you can't, you're not supposed to put your ass on Instagram. It's owned by Facebook. I doubt I'll get in trouble unless anybody reports him, but people will probably will. Wait. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, anyway. Oh, shit. Who's that? Jacob! What's up, Jacob? Jacob's a long-time <laughs> M-Fam. He's been subbed for, like, 45 months. Nice. And, uh... I knew him way back in the day when he was in Twitch chat all the time, uh, but he was like he's been gone for a little while, mm-hmm. and he just made new Twitter and he's uh, he's putting himself back into the community and he's a very friendly, nice person. Yeah. It's good to see you, Jacob. Good to see you, Jacob. He'd be looking thick though. Who? Oh, he's talking about Jericho. Uh, Jericho. His name's Tucker. He's a uh, YouTuber, Twitch streamer, all these things. Anyway, hold on. Damn, I love you. Listen here, Jacob. I love you. We're talking about how I broke my toe, and we're, oh my god, I see it on Twitter. Thank you for putting that in the world. You're welcome. Uh, oh, why'd I like it? I'm unliking it, so people don't see it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna comment on it, like, $20 for more pics. No, bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. There's something... You're right, I can go higher. <laughs> there's something... My mom's getting Mexican food, and I'm stoked. Oh, bro. That's what we need to do. We need to go to mariachis every day, leading up, and just get, like... I don't know if I got the money to go to mariachis every day. I mean, they're pretty cheap. I mean, if we went there and just got, like, three tacos every day, it's, like, five or six bucks for oh, three I tacos. Oh, I thought you meant, like... I thought you were about to say, let's just go there every day and get three bowls of chips and salsa. We can do that, too. I mean, we can just... I like the chips load, Their chips are great. Yeah, yeah. Like, get, like, a meal that has some meat in it, like the taco. And the tacos have, like, a good amount of, like, food to them, and they're pretty cheap. So we could go in there and each just get three tacos and then just load up on chips and hang out with our friends. And eat the majority of our food all the beginning of the time that we're trying to do. And then, uh, the fucking other thing, the the chips would just be, we'd stack that on throughout the night, you know? Just load up on carbs, day in and day out. Like we're loading up to get buff, but we're actually doing a food challenge. We could do both. I mean, carbs are good for, uh... For you, you don't need carbs right now. You, you're trying to lose some weight first. Yeah, I but, like. The but I mean, rolls. if we're gonna do this challenge, you know, I like the wine rolls. Okay. I came up with this idea. So, like, I want to get like you know how you get the thirty count from Chick Fil A of nuggets. Mm-hmm. I want to get that. And That's some, expensive. No, 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 no. I want to get one of those, and I want to get um, uh, <laughs> Hawaiian rolls and just start making myself sliders. Like, keep it like for a week or whatever, and make myself sliders for lunch. 
don't think that's a good idea. Why? Because that's not very healthy food for you. It'd be delicious, you. though. <laughs> I mean, it'd be delicious, yeah, Put some sure. cheese on that bad boy? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, Protein it up, Charlie. <laughs> sounds like some great prep meals. I mean, yeah, but not really. <laughs> like, like if you just want great meals for the week, sure, but they're not like they're not going to be unbelievably unbelievably healthy meals. Yeah. Is the problem? Oh, I saw the video where they killed Mr. Peanut. <laughs> we Mr. talked about Peanut, that last podcast, but nobody would know because Charlie didn't post it to YouTube. We didn't talk about that last podcast. We did. Talk about I know we talked about it at. Idle House. We didn't talk, we didn't talk about it on the podcast. I don't think. Are you sure? Because it's been that's only been a couple of days, and that because that happened like the day I talked about it at Idle House. Oh. And we haven't streamed since like four or five days ago. Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Peanut died. If you guys didn't know. Yeah. Uh, from Peanut Company, but I don't. I don't know. I mean, it's not really a giant story. It's just it's a, what it is is a great marketing story. Oh. It's insanely I, good because no one knew, no one cared or knew about Mr. Peanut anymore. I but they killed off Mr. a character Peanut. that no one. Like it's seen in a while, who's animated and fictional. <laughs> he's 120 years old and he's not real. And then, boom, they kill him off in canon <laughs> of whatever the fuck is canon for the peanut world. You know what, though? Like, um, so I saw this funny thing on iFunny where it was like Mr. Peanut tweeted out, I have news, I have uh, secret information about Hil- Hillary Clinton. Oh my god. That's fucking hilarious. That's fucking amazing. And they killed them all. I love that. <laughs> Can I speak? I can't say Hillary Clinton forever. That's so great. I was thinking of how layered that joke is. There's so many amazing layers to that. It would have been really amazing if you said that after he died. <laughs> Get some fucking Epstein conspiracies going on, <laughs> bro. Today, so I'm watching the while we do this sp- stream podcast. I'm watching the Call of Duty stream because my buddies Simp and Major Maniac are uh, playing. They're with the Atlanta Phase team and they're playing uh, the Dallas Empire team. And uh, uh, so, I'm, like, I, I just have that on. But <clears throat> here's the crazy shit. Um, oh my god, you freak! What? I'm just watching my buddy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, earlier, there's a, there's a man, there's a player in Call of Duty. His name's Aches, and he's like notoriously hated throughout Call of Duty. He he's just him? like a bad egg. Like he's like, he's like. Uh, do you know who? Who do Usman just fight, guys? You guys would know. Uh, shit. Colby Colby Covington. Do you know that name? Nope. Colby Covington's a UFC fighter. He's a he's a uh, Walter Weight who just fought U- Kamaru Usman, and he was like his shtick is he's like an avid Trump supporter, and he knows he's not like he I'm shy, I think he is technically, but he's not like as much of a douchebag about it as he parades. He but he parades as this like toxic asshole because he knows it'll drum up business because everyone wants to see him get his ass beat, and Aches is that guy in Call of Duty, and he walked out today on the stage with a piece of paper like folded he went like this and it said Epstein didn't kill himself <laughs> like on the middle of the Call of Duty stream it was fucking hilarious oh it was awesome you know how some shops have like billboards where they put up text and stuff one of my local uh, surf shops put up Epstein didn't kill himself <laughs> that's hilarious I wonder how many signs have done that across America but a lot I, bet, um, I know Europeans have done it like in, uh, UK people have done it Dude, it, that's it's so crazy that like, it's out of all the big s- conspiracy theories, like, there aren't a lot where almost unanimously in the culture, like, we're all pretty sure he didn't kill himself. <laughs> like, it's like, it's ridiculous, like how obvious it is that he probably didn't kill himself. Unless that's meant to be that way. Yeah, sure, but that's it's that's a, the ob- it's a that's the bluff. yes, but that's like the obvious conspiracy thing is well maybe it's that because he did really kill himself, but. It just doesn't. Nothing makes sense. Yeah, it's ridiculous how. Yeah. That's this crazy. is where we talk for an hour about if Epstein killed himself. Nah, we don't have to. Here's the church. Here's the steeple. Jeffrey Epstein was murdered by rich pedophile people. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Copenhagen. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> um, mm, that's a good one. I like that. <laughs> that is a pretty funny one. 
Um, oh, man. This chair looks so small compared to me. Like, I remember Bethany sitting in this well, the chair thing and is, being like this. Yeah. You're, so your your camera's lower yeah. than I'm, mine. I'm so a that's, big guy. For and you. you're a big guy, so it, it makes us look like we're the same size. When in reality, Creighton's like two inches taller than me. Uh, much Two inches longer than you. Probably weighs more than... How much do you weigh? I don't know. Like, what would you guess? I don't know. I have checked, the last time I checked, I was like 180. When did you last check? Uh, what year is it? 2020. <laughs> uh, it's been a while. <laughs> you probably weigh anywhere you from scale? 190 to 200. Uh, not in here. I have one upstairs. No, I don't. I don't live there anymore. <laughs> I was thinking about my old house. <laughs> like, I, have a, I, I, I imagine I, you're like, yeah. I weigh myself at the gym all the time. but Yeah, there's scales at the gym. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was always... Yeah. I mean, it, logically, you would think there would be, but I, it was one of those things like I didn't think about. And until you saw it, you saw it, and you are like, oh, yeah, that's sport. Yeah. I walked into the locker room, and there was a scale. I was like, oh, okay, you know. If she ain't 280, she ain't a lady. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but that sounded hilarious. It was funny. Uh, oh, if she... Oh, I get it. Yeah. You're probably 190 to like 205. I'd put you in that in that range. Are you saying I'm fat, Trevor? No, I'm saying you weigh a lot. You're, you're, you're not even a lot. You weigh a lot for... Not a lot, but you weigh probably about what a 6'2 guy who's like out of shape would weigh if he wasn't fat you're not fat you just have fat you know what i mean yeah you're not like a fat person yeah. you just I'm like have... a well i'm like a well beef steak no yeah you're like a well fatted steak yeah. i'm like a steak <laughs> you're a fatty steak you're, you're not even a steak you're like a fatty pork chop not a steak i'm a i'm a beefy boy no stop <laughs> winking <laughs> you i hate you <laughs> um jesus thick medium well <laughs> I hate so much. There's so much hate. <laughs> About the things you choose to be. Nah, you, uh... The thing is with you, you're lucky, because you're... Isn't the average American male six foot 180? Something like that, I think. I'm six oh, foot... Oh, wait, are you saying I'm the average American? No, I you're, ab you're above average American. as far as weight. <laughs> you're like 6'2". Can we play Hulk Hogan's theme song? No. Come on. No. I'm not getting kicked off the of Twitch because you want to hear Hulk Hogan's thing. Yeah, then like out of nowhere you hear, I am a real American. Let me check that, actually, because that doesn't, I don't feel what? like that's true, actually. What? Average Hulk Hogan's theme song? American male height and weight. I think the average American height is like 5'10". Five, 5'9". Five, yeah. The average, oh, okay, so it's not, they're not saying for both. So the average American male is 5 foot 9 inches. But the average American man, 20 years old and up, weighs 197 pounds. Or really 198. 197.9. Damn. Some chunky boys in America. <laughs> I didn't think that. I, I mean, <laughs> I know I'm taller than the average American male, but... Damn, bro, I didn't know they all were fit, fat like that. I guess because I'm at the gym all the time. I'm not really seeing a healthy, uh, a healthy, like understanding of that yeah, <laughs> i'm seeing mostly fit people 25 patties brother <laughs> start I, wearing a bandana and sunglasses that's what he said copenhagen said we should wear a bandana when we do this or snipes did someone did wait how'd he die who snipes oh, do you not know how to, oh shit oh like they killed they that say, motherfucker they say he, they hung, say he himself. hung himself in a jail cell where they had the camp they lost all the footage they lost all the footage of when he tried to kill himself the first time, because apparently he tried... Oh, the peanut guy. Oh. <laughs> he, jumped, he, he jumped off a cliff. He didn't jump he off. He didn't jump. So he, him and his buddies were in a van, go. and they crashed, and then the branch they were hanging off of was about to fall, and he lets go so that his friends can live. Roses are red, tacos are life. Jeff Epstein was murdered by Bill Bill's wife. <sighs> <sighs> oh, man. I miss 90s Bill Clinton. <laughs> What? <laughs> We're not continuing that. <laughs> Why? Stop, because you don't know what you're saying. <laughs> you he, was, he was fat. He played the sax all Stop the time. talking. <laughs> it's a great time. <laughs> Look, I'm, talk I'm not talking about like 97 Bill Clinton. I'm uh, talking about like 92 to 95. Right. Fuck. It's that was a great time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know anything about politics. No, but <laughs> just... Imagine Bill Clinton. 
<laughs> rolling out on some talk show with the saxophone. Hey, everybody. And that's our, that's our president. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's a sax. I got that nice sax today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want some sax? I, I can put some sax right in your ears. Oh, man. It's on the Clint Maester. Do we have any footage of that? No. <laughs> like him just not real. Out. I made it up. Oh. <laughs> you know I'm talking about like him rolling out on the talk shows, <laughs> busting out a sax and playing. Crane was murdering Happy Meals in 95. Crane wasn't alive in 95. That's fair. I wasn't alive in 95. <laughs> Crane was born, what, 98? 97. 97. Yeah, 97. Crane's a, a child. I was born. We were both children. I was, I was born, born post sex. I was born very. No. I was. My birthday's next month. I was born very. On the very oh, beginning you know of the Now I think about it, I was born post sex and post Monica Lewinsky. Jesus, fuck. Yeah, we're young, Copenhagen. <laughs> We're very young. We're young children. We're, we're a bunch boys. of young, thicky boys. No, you're a thicky boy. <laughs> I'm very thin. <laughs> I want my legs to be bigger. Yeah, you, you got a thick ass, Charlie. You know. Eh, not really. Like you know, I'm not. I'm not getting anything, but good ass on you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> I have been working it out. Then I'm gonna have to stop for a while. I mean, I don't have. To. I can. That's, I can that's still why work he's it upset out. about the squats. He just was getting his ass in shape. Yeah, I mean, I can. St- Once my toe feels good enough to where I don't have to fucking limp, because I'm legit limping. Like you bad. remember we used to joke limp and how his command. Well, I didn't really joke. I, I had a limp for a while because I jumped off a bu- that building behind my house, the old house. Oh yeah. And like I fucked my leg up, but then after a while I felt better. But I kept the limp to make people sad for me in high school. This is like fuck. But it was a fake limp. That's when I. It, no, it was fake for a while. Yeah. Or it was it was real for a while. Eventually you got it became, like, yeah it became fake. It be- you got so used to it you started doing it by accident. Yeah. That was you know that's what you get for being <laughs> shitty. Hey, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's nice. But look, so we Hold on, I'm gonna walk, walk to the door. I'm gonna walk to the door over there, and try not to let my toe get seen very well. But I will show you guys how bad my limp is. I'm gonna move your camera just a little bit. We were at Walmart, and so like, um, this is like legit how I have to walk. Like, I, like, like, like this isn't even me just putting it on for the podcast. Like, I have to walk like that to get from like everywhere. Like, if I want to go to yeah. a restaurant, if I want to go to Walmart, like, oh shit. I'm walking, like, with a legit-ass limp everywhere I go. And it it sucks, because I have to, like, walk on the left of my fucking, like, left side of my heel. (laughs) Atlanta Phase was supposed to play at 7.30, and they just start. Yeah, I know, I'm watching. I can't believe it. Bro, they schedule this shit so bad. (laughs) Like, they usually schedule it with, like, with enough leeway time in case people, like, go all, like, play all five maps, you know? Mm -hmm. And they scheduled it so bad. That fa- the the match I'm watching right now, this match that's on this monitor, mm-hmm. this was supposed to start three hours and fifteen minutes ago. Oh man, like <laughs> who what? plans these things? I mean, the the problem is this game they have and the is new it, ads the that they're doing. It's not the game that is taking so long. It's the way that they're streaming the game, because like they have so many ads and they have to like bring out all the competitors now. It's stupid. It's not what anyone wants. I don't think. Well, then why are they doing? it? Because they want to try new shit, and now it's a franchise esports, so like they're doing new shit. I don't know, dude. It's mm. dumb. It's dumb. Oh, well, hey. to me, it's dumb to me. Speaking of, franchise. hopefully it brings new people. If it brings new people, then I'm happy. But oh, that's good. But I, I don't know if it's gonna bring new like viewers and shit. What? Spe- so. Sorry. Uh, I, speaking of new franchises, that got me thinking about the XFL, which is like, do you know what that is? No. So Vince McMahon, the man who owns the WWE, has launched his own football league. Oh. Like, it's going to be like the... It's like fake football? Like written football? <laughs> I guess, but is that really a bad thing? I mean, he's made a franchise so. off of WWE, and that shit's entertaining to watch. Just some. <laughs> I thought it was entertaining. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, I, I know you do. Could you imagine, though, like Brock Lesnar <laughs> walks out onto the field to kick like a football off or whatever? You know? I mean, it could be cool. No, it's supposed to start, like, in a few weeks, I want to say. Can you pull that up, actually, and see no. when it's... When I don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about it, because I, I think it's hilarious. Do some like, research where I don't have to look up my own shit, and then come well, back computer, another time. We'll have, we'll have this as a thing we talk about right on the board. No, I want to talk about it now. I don't okay. want to talk about so, it. So, the XFL... Talk what you know. Say what you know about it. So, uh, <laughs> apparently, like, he's going to have, like, stripper cheerleaders. Of course. And, um... Jesus. <laughs> He tried this in like the 90s and it just didn't work. Oh, really? So, like, I guess 20 years later, he's like, uh, I mean, Trump. They tried it in 2001, but it only lasted for one season. Yeah, yep. According to Snipes. Sorry, Snipes, my bad. 
But anyways, I, I guess now, 20, 20 years later, he's, like, bringing it back. <laughs> and, like, apparently it's going to be the shit. So, we'll see. Apparently the rules are going to be different, too. So, like, it's not going to be, like, your classic NFL football. It's going to be the XFL on Sunday. Or something like Sunday, that. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh, and speaking of stuff that's happening on Sunday, Royal Rumble is tomorrow. We should watch it. I'm not watching. Why? That. Come on. I want to. Royal I have to work is a WWE First of all, I have to work tomorrow. Second of all, I don't care. I don't like <laughs> Royal Rumble shit. I don't like WWE. <laughs> I like WWE. I'm I mean, not a big WWE like I don't guy. like it as a business, but I think they do produce some like funny shit that I like to watch. Mm-hmm. So. I like John Cena. I like John Cena too. I, I like, like The him. Rock. I like The Rock. I, I like, like The Undertaker. Batista. I like Brock Lesnar. The reason I like all those guys is because they've like made good movies now. Like they're they're oh. becoming good movie guys. Like act like, bro, Dwayne Johnson's like legitimately a decent actor. Yeah, Batista's liter- like legitimately oh, a decent yeah. actor. And then uh, John Cena like a- is a great comedic actor. Like oh, yeah, like ridiculously. Funny I couldn't comedic take actor. him seriously in Bumblebee because <laughs> like he. I, I didn't just remember it. he's in Bumblebee. He's I know. like. The yeah, main isn't he military like a Nazi guy or something. No, no, no. He's the main uh, military guy for the U.S. government. Oh, okay. Yeah, but like it, it's weird. It's so like weird seeing him on scene, on screen, and everything. Like I couldn't take him seriously, but like he really gave it his all, though. You know what I mean? Like he. Let's was, be like, real. Bret Hart is the greatest wrestler of all time. That's true. Bret, Bret Hart is. He was in Spider Man, I think. <laughs> is no, that I'm him? sorry. No. That Bret Hart. I don't remember. Come here, Spider Boy. You're going nowhere. That might be Bret Hart. I don't know, though. I don't know who that was. But I love that scene. <laughs> we say that shit all the time. We'll be playing video it's games. and like time. We'll be playing video games and like I'll shoot a friend of mine and he'll be weak and running away from me. And I'll be like, you're going nowhere. And I'll chase him. <laughs> like We've said that shit so many Brett times the over the years. Bret the Hitman Hart. I don't know. I don't that's know. His, that's his uh, name. I don't know his name. I don't know who but he is. But he died. Okay. Like, it was really sad. And it was part of like why they were like, oh, WWE doesn't treat their wrestlers good and stuff. Because they, they really don't. Yeah, I'm sure they don't. I mean, a lot of them have been very injured because of it. Like, and have have maintained... Like, Hulk Hogan's knees are just gone. His back... Oh, yeah. Like, definitely. the base of his back is, like, it's grinded to nothingness. Yeah, that's pretty hard. John Cena has made, like, 600 Make-A-Wish wishes. Yes. That's awesome. His brother owns... His brother Owen Hart died. Owen, Owen Hart. Hart, okay. Yeah. Says uh, says Copenhagen. Again. Damn, I got a bunch of WWE nerds in here. That's my bad. Like, so, I couldn't remember exactly which one passed away. And... Yeah. I don't, like, I don't not like WWE, like, people that religiously don't like it. I just can't, li- I don't like watching it. No, I I'm not like a, I'm not like a, well, like it's a not, hater. It's you know? not, I'm not for like, everyone. It's know? definitely not for everyone. Yeah. Like, for me, I like MMA. I like MMA, I like Taekwondo, oh, I like yeah. kickboxing, I like yeah. all that shit. I, see, that I, stuff, I guess with WWE, I just... Reverse. Huh? Me and you are the reverse. Because yeah. that stuff, I just can't get into because it feels so... I don't know, it feels too much like a sport, and WWE is just like over the top. Like, mm-hmm. all, I love over the top shit, you know me. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Go ahead, though, I didn't mean to interrupt you. The, the problem is, more people have died doing WWE in the ring than MMA. Oh, yeah. No one's died doing MMA yet. Yeah. Not one person. People died... Uh, People have died boxing. A lot of like th- two or three people died boxing last, like a couple months ago. All like inside of three days, like a lot of people died. Like, but it was so sad. One guy was so out of it that his like coach had to cancel the fight, and then they took him to the hospital and he died. What was wrong? He got the shit beat out of him. Oh. He died. The guy beat him to death. I mean, Jesus. It was, it was like his brain was detached from his head, like on the inside, in a weird way. I don't yeah. watch it. I just saw the John the John Cena on Twitter. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I I followed John Cena. I followed Batista. I followed uh, Dwayne Johnson. I follow I follow all those guys. I love them. I just don't like watching WWE. <laughs> I don't know. I like Hulk Hogan. And uh, who's the bald one? Uh, Ric Flair. No. The, uh, uh, he was on. Boy. He was uh, on Hot Ones. God damn. Oh oh uh, oh! I know who you're talking about. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Steve, yes, I love yeah, him, dude. He's he was awesome. so great on Hot Have Ones. Have you ever listened to his podcast? I have not. Dude, it's amazing. Like, I recommend it. Because it, it's just him talking about random <laughs> shit. Like, one time we were on the way from, like, Abari in Charlotte. And we were just, like, oh my God. everybody was drunk as fuck except for me. And we were just listening to Stone Cold Steve Austin talking about setting up a little 
ring in his barn so rats could wrestle. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that sounds like something we should do in film. But with koalas. No, they're endangered now. Yeah, not koalas. We should do it with with pigeons. <laughs> pigeons? No, they'd fly away. No. What? It's not our pigeons. What are you going to do? Clip we would have loyal That's pigeons. That's a horrible thing to do. Loyal pigeons. I'm not clipping them. They, we loyal would teach pigeons. them. They'd be friends of ours. Loyal pigeons sounds like a Twitter handle. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Is that going to be the name of our fan base? Loyal pigeons? The loyal pigeons, bro. Oh. Yeah, we don't really have a name for you guys yet, do we? We should have, we have it loyal pigeons. Dilton and Copenhagen go at the top of the list, followed by Clem and... Uh, what's her name? That comes in here all the time. Who? What? What's the one that comes in here all the time? It's like, I hate you, but then I'm like, I love you. you know Everybody? No, no, no. Uh, she said it specifically towards me because we were leaving to go do something. And she was like... Tim? Yeah, Tim. Tim. And uh, Mar- Maria? Marina. Marina, yeah. And uh, I'm not a pigeon. <laughs> so Snipes. <laughs> Snipes, you are. You loyal pigeon. <laughs> I'll make you a pigeon. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... I don't know if that's a thing we really need. I don't know if what? we need, like, yes, names for our people. Yes, you think? Do. Yeah. We should, definitely. We gotta add pizzazz to this. Pizzazz? Pizzazz. And scat. What? <laughs> Look, it's, t- it's the 20s again. We gotta start scatting, like, for no reason. Like, just I think I'm gonna make it, an, just, I'm gonna make it like, an effort to sit down and write ideas for the podcast. Like, pigeon. Because I, I don't do that pigeon? enough. Like, to be fair, the last couple of weeks, we've had a lot of shit going on, the two of us, like, separately in our lives, and well, now this, been this fucking like toes fucking a week. Or two a week. We've done two a week. One we've maintained two a week. Two a week. We've been good at Don't label me, you greasy suit coat. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're a greasy suit coat. Oh, uh, that's greasy. Um, I don't know. I'm definitely looking forward to... I'm looking forward to my toe being better right now. Yeah. Like, it is so distracting having my toe hurt, because it just hurts, like, all the time. Like, right now, it just hurts. Oh, man, nobody liked my tweet about your toe. Yeah, they're probably... You probably got a bunch of unfollows. <laughs> Delete that tweet, bro. Why? Because it's... No. It sucks. No, I'm leaving it up. Okay, dude. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> You're so annoying. Hey, somebody followed me. Phase one, first map. I saw a bumper. I'm watching. Who fo- oh no, people are about to start following you. Who is it? Uh, What's the person? I think it's one of those fake ones. Oh. Uh, said, seeking for a cool relationship. Yep, Here's that's one. definitely it. Mike yeah. is a beast. And then it's... Tape it's, and ice, bro. It's this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's yeah, fake. See? That one. Right there. I mean... What? I... What? What is it? What are you going to say? It was a Twitter thing. I was just looking. I don't know, Bumper... Like, Mike's a beast, and I love him, but, like, this game is so weird right now that I feel like, uh, I feel like it's gonna be hard to, uh, really distinguish the real beasts from the, the, like, people who are just okay, you know what I mean? Because Mike is, like, the kind of player who can be better than everyone else. That's true. They had no, (laughs) yeah, like, you know, (laughs) they had no business winning that. Say That's what I'm saying, they, like, it was crazy, they came back so crazy. Uh... I really wish that, uh, one, we could do this whenever we wanted. You well, know what I mean? Well, if you just come live at my grandma's house, it'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> one, the internet there is garbage. That's fair. But, but I feel like... We, we would not, we wouldn't together, be able to stream. Fix it. Yeah. fix it? No, we just yeah. have to spend more. <laughs> we have to spend more yeah. money on the nice, well, on the better. we'd have money to spend. Creating the type of person who would support the red coats back in the colonial days. <laughs> <laughs> That's you a, fucking loyalist. That's such a weird. <laughs> that is, is a weird thing? nothing thing to say that <laughs> makes sense. You fucking loyalist. I think, no, guys, King thing? George is going to help us. <laughs> is that, this is the thing I said about the loyal pigeons. Creighton Dick Arnold. <laughs> Benedict. Creighton Dick. Creighton Addict Arnold. Creighton Addict. That's your name. Your new name is Creighton Addict. Crate and addict to cumber, seen, cumber bitch. I was about to say, have you seen like all the like retellings of Benedict Cumberbatch's name? Oh my god, <laughs> there's so many good ones. Hold on, <laughs> funny versions <laughs> of Benedict <laughs> Cumberbatch. Twenty one times the internet has had zero respect for Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. 
<laughs> Buttercup <laughs> Cumber Snatch. Uh, I think my favorite thing about people who don't like Snickerdoodle C- Cabbage Patch is that we can all instantly recognize if someone's talking about him, even with names like Boiler Ding Crims. Crimps. <laughs> Crimpy snitch. Oh, that's fucking. Someone responded, "Bendy noodle crum, cr- crumper bunts." Fuck. <laughs> crumper bunts. When picnic remembers snacks. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best one. These are so great. <laughs> Hot people are always hotter when you find out how nice they are. I'm looking at you, Tom Hiddleston. Not you, Bonky Hort Cutie Brunch. <laughs> Bonky Hort Cutie Brunch. All caps. <laughs> We all still know who this is. Every time you think people could possibly run out of variations. <laughs> Quaint heartthrob, body snatch cumberbun. <laughs> this weekend announced his engagement to theater director, blah, blah, blah. Buffalo Custard Bath <laughs> is best known for the lead role in BBC's sh- series Sherlock. <laughs> Formidable acting repertoire aside, Bumble Snuff Crimsy Snitch. His fame is largely attributed to his dashing persona and his unusual name. We look forward to Mr. and Mrs. Cabbage Wang's wedding. <laughs> Bundle Loop Catch Your Death <laughs> announces engagement. Actor Black <laughs> Actor Black Tie and Cumberbund's engagement to girlfriend Sophie Hunter has been announced. Oh my god, these are amazing. My dad just called Benedict Cumberbatch British guy, silly name. <laughs> and it me British how close, guy, silly name. And it disturbs me how close it was. Like the same amount of syllables and everything. <laughs> One time my friend called him Beanie Bag Cabbage Patch. My guy friend rem- re- re- friends referred to him as either Caitlin's Man or Benadryl Cuck... Cuck... Cucumber patch. <laughs> Cucumber. 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 It's so hard to say. I was like, what does that say? Because it's not spelled like cucumber, but that's what he's trying to say is cucumber. Patch. Benadryl cucumber patch. Oh my god, it's just a giant list of them. Beetleborg crumpet patch. Ben Affleck Cameron catch. Balthasar cork pinch. Booby frog camel neck. Booberry caramel snacks. <laughs> Bubble bath cutie mark. <laughs> Bubble butt coitus time. Ooh. Ooh. That's a nice one. Bulbasaur charmander pants. <laughs> that's a great one. Oh, these are great. <laughs> Bumblebee. No, it's a down. Blunderbuss cuddle statch. Bro, I could read these all podcasts. This could be the whole podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Benedict <love> Cumberbatch. <laughs> British guy. What's his Benedict name? Cumberbatch. <laughs> Wait, what? That's his real name. <laughs> it just sounds funny after we've said all those. Uh, I read it as Pope Comb Penguins Batch. <laughs> Apparently, he can't say penguins. Have you ever seen that 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 video? <laughs> he can't say it. Yeah. Oh, I have the, seen the, that. The, the He's like penguins. 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 Penguin. I can't say it. I can't say it. He has a really good American accent. Oh, yeah. Well, He's such a good actor, bro. He didn't have a good American accent in Doctor Strange. Yeah, it does. That's what I'm saying. Like, he has a good American accent in Doctor Strange. That's okay. He's a good actor. He's, dude, that's one of those actors who, like, deserves an Oscar who hasn't won one yet. Have you seen The Imitation Game? No. I want to go see Knives Out. Dude, Knives Out looks great. I know. The Im- the Imitation Game, he got an Oscar nomination. He plays uh, the man who invented the computer back in World War II. Mm-hmm. And uh, the character, like, in real life, the guy was gay. And, like, ends up killing himself because, like, they tried to correct his gayness, like, medically. Mm-hmm. And uh, the story is fun. The movie's amazing because he invents a computer. Like, this guy invents the computer. And it solves the, uh, him inventing the computer is what decrypted the code that, Either the Nazis or the Russians were using to attack submarines. And they used that to find out when they were going to bomb us. And they evacuated everybody and then went and attacked. And eventually, he's really the reason we won the war. Like, when you break break it all down. It's insane. Wow. But, uh, it's a great movie. Uh, he gets a nomination. What's her name from Pirates of the Caribbean in it and gets a nomination? Oh, uh, uh, fuck, I love her. Um, something Knight, right? Or Knightley? Kira Knightley. Kira Knightley. Kira Knightley. She plays, uh... 
his partner in the movie who helps him invent it, and she loves him. She's like in love with him too, which is so sad. Great, but, sad mm -hmm. but also great. Like she was movie. great. In she of the she, year she year. I don't know if she won. I can't remember if she won. She was great in what? Pirates of the Caribbean. She's so good. I Pirates just love Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean. Imagine creating the computer. What a nerd. Yeah, bro. He was a nerd. He's so smart though. Like he plays it. So he's good at playing smart people. Hold on. Kiera. Knightley. Knightley. I don't know how to spell it. IMDb awards. I gotta know how many times she's been awarded. She probably did. She get anything for Pirates of the Caribbean? No, not Oscars at least. Maybe something else. Let's see. She got Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Horror Films. She got uh, Best Supporting Actress nomination for Pirates of the Caribbean: Curse of the Black Pearl, the first one. Oh, nice. bro, that's such a good one. That's the best one to me. Yeah. Especially the CGI at the end where they're in between the light oh, and they're yeah, like skeletons yeah. and then people. They did so good. It looks so good. I think that whole, like, the first three movies... Pride and Prejudice was her first nominee nomination. Mm. That and The Imitation Game. I think the first three movies are, like, the best ones out of that whole... Best ones out of that whole saga of movies. Just because they're such a complete story. I well, yeah, I mean, like, after the third one, they really went downhill. Like, bad. Because apparently the fifth one is, like, the most expensive movie ever made. Really? Yeah, like, it was, like, 480 million or some crazy shit. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Most expensive. Well, it took them, like, years to make it. Movie ever made. It did take them years to make it. Uh, so it's, like, right below Avengers? Avengers Age of Ultron. Wait, which one is this, though? Is it the fifth one? Yeah. No, was, okay, so movie. On Stranger Tides, apparently... Oh, On Stranger Tides the most. The movie. budget was $410 million. But you know what, though? I liked On Stranger Tides. I thought it was okay. It was okay. I didn't like that it was just Jack. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, he's yeah. great. But, but, like, the thing that made the Pirates of the Caribbean so great, the first three, was yeah, that it was he was good, but it was that those two were backing him up. Yeah. Like, they were a really solid, like, trio of characters, oh, yeah, especially absolutely. in the first two. The third one's great, but they kind of get away from uh, Keira Knightley's character being who she is. Like, she's awesome in it and all, but she, like, changes so much. But she's such a you know, badass in that movie. Yeah, she you know that he got... Pirate King. Jack, what, what's his name? Uh, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Yeah. He got an Oscar nomination for the first Pirates of the Caribbean. Should have. That was yeah, it was really amazing. Good. You know, and I got to look up his. Never moved on from that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Johnny. No, he has. I know. I'm just making a joke because yeah. for a while there, it was just he was playing variations of that character. <laughs> in different things. I hope that he lives. <laughs> what? I, bro, he's so like coked up and like on drugs all the time. Like he's been in rehab. I, like he spends so much money on like he spends like twenty million dollars a year on wine. Like, ridiculous. He has, like, 80 houses. Like, like stupid. He spends all his money. He has to do movies every year, like, like payout movies, like, just cash a check movie, because, like, he'll go, he's going to go bankrupt. Yeah. Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, he got that a nomination. Was a good movie. He, that, Finding actually, Neverland and Pirates of the Caribbean. Those are his only three nominations. Sweeney Todd? Have you I ever can't believe he didn't Sweeney get a nomination Todd? for, uh, What's Eating Gilbert Grape. He's great in that movie. Have you seen Sweeney Todd? I have not. Quentin wants me to. It's really, really good. I think <laughs> Bro, like it. he has three nominations from the Oscars, but he has four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nominations from the Golden Globes. Edward Scissorhands, Benny and June, Ed Wood, Pirates of the Caribbean, Finding Neverland, Charlie and Chocolate Factory, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, Sweeney Todd, Alice in Wonderland, The Tourist. And The Tourist. He shouldn't have been nominated for The Tourist. <laughs> Tourist isn't. What about? Uh, it's he should good. have been nominated for that trailer, <laughs> like uh, for Black, Black Mass, yeah. just for the trailer. Dude, he should have been nominated for the movie. He was, was amazing in the movie. It's just the movie wasn't amazing. If there was awards for trailers, which there should be, like that trailer should win an award. We've watched that trailer before on here. Just so many it's, like, times. So that movie, good. that trailer for that movie is fucking phenomenal. The trailer is like just way better than the movie. Like the who, whatever the, uh, the the house the. Uh, the studio house that they make those trailers because what they do is the movie sends like certain clips to a studio house and the studio house for however much money makes the trailers amazing <laughs> and like whoever made that one bro <laughs> woo that, that movie was so people were so mad because of how good the trailer was and how dull the movie is because the movie's like it's got it's moments but it's so fucking boring like and not like fun, it's not like like boring. Like some movies can be boring and then have like great moments. Like it's just not fun to watch. Like, it, and he does a great job acting. A lot of people, the David Harbor, the guy who plays uh, Chief Hopper in Stranger Things. Yeah, he's yeah. great in it. 
Uh, Joel Egerton's great. Like, all the acting's great, but it's, it's just, just the so, writing. Yeah, it's like that movie, uh, J. Edgar, when, when Leonardo DiCaprio played, like, J. Edgar Hoover, and he, like, got all fat for the role. Like, he didn't get fat, but, like, they prosthetically made him fat. Like, apparently the acting's amazing, but the people hated the movie so much that the Academy barely even looked at it. Like, there have been roles that were discounted because of how bad the overall thing was, where they should have been judged on the, the merit acting. of the acting. Yeah. Like, like the movie shouldn't be Best Picture nominated, all this shit, sure, but the movie, the acting deserves a nomination. I don't know. I'm a dork. I'm a dork about shit like that. I guess. Oh, well, hey, <laughs> I followed that girl back and she said hello. Oh, no. You, that's a prostitute. She's going to send you her rates. Listen, two things. What? One. I'm going to end the podcast early tonight. Are you ending it now? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it. We've been, it's been an hour and 20 minutes, uh, but mainly because my toe is hurting very bad, and I need to attend to that, uh, and I have to use the bathroom, and two, because Creighton is a human hot pocket. Thank you. <laughs> Why, thank you. Like, you said that so legitimately. Like, <laughs> thank you. I am a hot pocket. <laughs> uh... Are we keeping that clip? Sure. <laughs> Two. What? If I get off work early enough tomorrow, yeah. I'd like to do another one. Only if the rumble's over. Okay. And then, do you know your schedule for this yeah. coming week? Yeah. What day is? Do you have a Tuesday and Saturday, like the normal shtick. Really? Yeah. So we could do one Monday night. Monday night, one or Friday Tuesday night. and Tuesday night if we really wanted. Mm-hmm. But you're probably doing something Tuesday, huh? You don't know yet. I don't know. Yeah. We'll keep that in the. We'll keep that in our back pockets. Yeah. And uh. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start putting a lot more effort into preparing. Cause lately, the last like five or six podcasts, I was just like, "You want to do a podcast?" And Creighton will show up and we'll do a podcast. I'm gonna start really putting more time into figuring out things to talk about. Cause while I do like talking, I can talk about movies all night. Yeah, and I will. I'll it's do that. Ever, like I think this has been a solid <laughs> podcast. It just has by like going off of like without any notes at all. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I mean. Oh, I'm, and I'm, I saw one note that you left in there, but we hadn't talked about that yet. Yeah, I'm gonna save that one. For a more serious podcast. So that's the tease right there for you guys. Yeah. Uh, oh, you gotta upload last podcast and this podcast. I think I'm not gonna upload last one. Why? Come on. Fine. Please. I'll upload last podcast. And then I'll this upload one. this one. Yeah. yeah, this one for sure. Two I like two. uploading short podcasts because they're like, you can knock them out really quickly. People yeah. can. Uh, Don't forget, I'm gonna text you to remind you when I leave. Cause yeah. I need... I'll, I'll upload the one, the last one right before, like, when, the, when we end this. Like, I'll do it while you're here. And I wanna talk to you about something after the podcast. Okay. But, um, Is it, until am I then, in trouble? Huh? Am I in trouble? Yeah, you're in trouble. You oh my bad. god. He's gonna punch you. You're gonna get a spanking. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna film it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Guys, I'm going to host Ben. I think if he's still, if he's still, yes, he's doing a quiz stream where they're, they're having like a trivia night. It's pretty dope. Um, that ooh, sounds ooh, cool. Okay. Trivia. Huh? Can we, can we enter the win stuff? Or no? What? Like, it's trivia night. If you get questions right, can you win stuff? I think you can, but we're not going to do that right now. Okay. Maybe another time. Anyway. <laughs> going to raid him. I love you guys. Sorry I'm cutting it short, but uh, I'll explain all at a later date, perhaps. Anyway, I love you guys. Have a great night, and uh, we're going to raid Ben. Bye.